pain. Pain is the great equalizer, the secret to life. From the time I was a boy, I learned to always inflict pain faster than my opponent, to never let pain guide my decisions, and always harness the pain for my own strength. The great quake brought misery and death to a callous number of people, but it made me a god, ruler of my domain, the greatest bounty hunter to ever live. No one, no one dares run from T.J. Swenson, except one. They call her the Lone Survivor, the savior of the refugees. But she is my greatest bounty ever. This is life on the changing earth. This way. In here. Interesting. What were you expecting? A grand office and fancy stuff? Governor Dixon would rather his fighters enjoy the same comfort he affords himself. That's commendable. Governor Dixon, Erica Moore, and her husband, Vince Moore. Welcome, friends. Nice to meet you. Please, come in and sit down. My name is Jason Dixon, and I am the governor of the People's Republic of Texas. This is my counterpart, Bob Thornberry. Are you twins? No, we met after the quake, but I'm sure you can see the benefit of having a double. The resemblance is uncanny. It sure does keep the feds busy chasing their tails. Your story and Melvin's insurance encourage me to be honest. Now that the cards are on the table, we can formulate a plan to benefit everyone. Would you like one? Yes, please. Melvin is the leader of the Northern and Western Resistance Units. I would have never dispatched him for an escort mission, but yours was a case of severe importance and blessed the heavens above that all three of you made it back safely. Let's pray for the Lord to continue blessing our journey. I trust you've been well fed and you obviously found the shower. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Moore, we took exceptional pains to honor your request and defy federal law to get you and your husband to the free zone. No doubt your presence is welcome, as it has brought hope to many desperate people in the country and my little slice of Texas. But why have you come? If you're caught, nothing is saving you from many years in prison camp or even execution on the spot. Why would you risk that? I'm going to get my mother. I see. Is she in a prison camp? No, she's employed in a textile factory. I see. Sir, the first of the evac teams are assembled. Mr. and Mrs. Moore, your mother will have to wait a bit longer. We have a hurricane moving in on Houston and little time to prepare for its arrival. We'll finish this conversation later. Is there anything we can do to help? We used to be on a rescue team for the feds. Any help would be greatly appreciated, but you better rest for now. Report to Janelle at 5 a.m. to get your caravan assignment. Yes, yes sir. sir. Nice to have you on board. Please, come this way. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure, uh oh I'm posting a picture, he's trying to be someone I'm not. It feels just like I'm lying to you. I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. Well, that was interesting. What? Mr. Dixon seems so honest and forthcoming. We have to tell him about the next quake. Not yet, baby. Let's see how things play out. I mean, with his double right there, how do we know we were even talking to the real Mr. Dixon? Why would he have shown us at all if he was deceiving us? 
to seem forthcoming and honest and find out what we know? I don't know. I'm so naive to people's intentions sometimes. But he seemed like a good guy. Look, I want to help too. But we probably shouldn't have volunteered. It puts you in harm's way. And we should be focusing on getting your mom and heading to Vegas. I know, Vince. But how can we get my mom out without their help? Maybe if we help them, they would be more apt to help us without asking questions. True. But you better promise me you're going to be careful. I promise. Seriously. You know me. I'll be careful. Yeah, I know you all right. someone they're tracking. Trucker, go out. Come on, let's go see our contact. Your contact has already found you. Master Sergeant Bennett, I wasn't expecting to find you here, sir. If you're here, where are my parents, sir? Come with me. I have a room at the boarding house. Really? Usually they can smell a Merc fighter from a mile away, sir. He did, but after I broke one of his bodyguard's arms, he decided to take the bribe I was offering. Damn, sir. That's ruthless. It's in here, Dexter. Where's Trucker? Patrolling. Hold on, sir. I can see the logic in that. Sir, what's going on? Your parents broke their probation and left the northern region. Why? Where's Daniel, sir? Daniel is still in the north with your grandparents. Why did they do this, sir? Uh, I, I don't know, but I need you to find them. Where are they, sir? In the free zone. I want you two to scout it out. We can do that, sir. Come on, Dex. I saw. electrical wire? Yeah. And the hat in that truck? Yeah. When those two guys leave, grab a hat, grab a roll of wire, and walk through the gate. You think it'll work? We're gonna find out. You can take it over there. Nice, Dex. Yeah. The crews are headed to Houston in the morning. I just hope we get there in time. My brother said the lone survivor is coming. I guess she's with the governor now. Are you serious, buddy? She's here? Yes, sir. She's over at the governor's compound. Wow. I never thought I'd get to meet her. <laughs> meet her? You're not going to meet her. But you may be able to see her. Really? Yeah. Go in the south gate. She's staying in that wing. Thanks. Well, that's a definite confirmation. Let's go see the compound. We can get out of this one. A tunnel of feeling. Just like we got through everything now. But I see you. It looks like an old college. Look, that's my mom right there. I don't think we're going to find a way through those gates. No, but maybe Trucker can. What 
are you writing? I've gotta know what they're up to. Go find Mom Trucker. We will find a way, way back together. But right now, there's stormy weather. When we get to Bozeman, you will continue to Reno with Daniel. Aren't you coming with us? I'll meet you there. Are you going to find my mom? No, Danny. Bennett will do that. We're going to free the refugees in Bozeman first. Really? Can I come? No, Danny. I need someone to look out for your grandparents. Can you do that? Yeah, I guess so. They've already started the assault. Is it safe? Don't worry. We'll get you out of here quickly. You guys hang tight. Sir, they're an hour into the assault. The outer towers have fallen. Good. Black troops are after the boy. Stay close to him. Yes, sir. Major Burgess, sir. It's Captain. A crew is surrounded. Stevens, assemble my team. Let's go get her. Yes, sir. Where is she, TJ? I don't know, sir. They were gone before we arrived. The tracker signal was coming from the base. They didn't disconnect until your forces were in the area. Yeah. They removed their tracker. Those merc bastards helped them escape. That will certainly help me with the board. Why didn't they have the new tech installed? Not my region. Do you know where she is now? We think she went south. To Dixon? Where else, sir? Those militia bastards are planning an attack. I know it. There's something special about Miss Erica Moore, TJ. I want her on her knees at my feet. Yes, sir. We'll find her. And then Dixon. Yes, sir. You're dismissed. How did that go? Not good. Erica wasn't with us. We'll get here, TJ. I'm growing weary of this chase. How can one woman continue to evade me? Come on. Mr. Lee will have a plan. Hey fellow Patriots, Bravo Echo here. Are you paying attention to what is happening in our great nation? Are you prepared? If not, come see us at HopeForSurvival.com. That's HopeForSurvival.com. Be safe and be blessed. Where do they want the extra medical equipment? In bus 36. Got it. Just shoot the thing. He seems friendly enough, and he has a collar. He's someone's pet. Trucker? You know this dog, ma'am? Yes, sir. Let him through. Is that Trucker? Yeah. Look, his collar has a little envelope. Is there anything in it? A note. What's it say? Mom, Dad, Bennett is on your heels. He called me in to find you. We're in old Austin. Are you going to get Grandma? Please tell me what's going on. All hell will break loose if you guys don't get back to the northern region. I love you, Dex. Smart kid. I was thinking the same thing. Hold on. Can I borrow your pen and have a piece of that paper? Sure, ma'am. What'd you tell him? Not to trust anyone, and we're going for mom. What if he tells Bennett? He's our son. We'll have to trust him. Hey, y'all. We're ready to go. Sir. We've regained the gate, but they pressed Cassidy's team back towards the tower. 
damn her for running in. Cassidy's never been one to hold back, sir. <laughs> Don't I know it. Let's go get her. Punch through on the left. Hold this position. There can't be many of them left, sir. If we can get those gates open, the refugees can help us. I'm on it, sir. Where'd she go? To climbing the tower, sir. She'll be a sitting duck. Lay down some press fire on those feds surrounding the tower. Attention, battle fighters! We have come to return your freedom. We can turn off your trackers. Put your weapons down and fight for us. Join us! Well, I'll be there. Looks like she had a plan all along, sir. Well, Major Cole Virgis, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? That was might brazen. I told you I'd bring forces to help. You didn't come in here with guns blazing, hoping to rescue a damsel in distress, did you? <laughs> I guess I should have known better. Oh, honey, you definitely should have by now. You're looking just as handsome as ever, though. Where's your new girlfriend? It's not like that, and you know it. Where is she? I'd love to take it up with her. I don't know, Cassidy. You're telling the truth, aren't you? She took off, didn't she? Yes. And you put all your faith in her? Is that why the feds attacked the North? It didn't help. Well, I sure hope she was worth it. governor's compound sir where's the governor held up the old saint edwards college sir are you sure they were there you saw them with my own eyes sir they're there but the whole place is buzzing something's going on they're mobilizing sir so soon erica and vince just got there i thought they were going after your grandmother not mobilizing with the militia resistance they're on their own sir i think they're trying to get help why didn't they talk to you sir I don't know, Dex. They just up and left. I'm as baffled as you are. Do you think we can extract them? The five of us? No way. Not unless they walk through those gates on their own accord. You're right. We should pull back to where my grandma is and get them there. Dex, there's one thing I didn't tell you. Yes, sir. Great job today, soldier. You're one stealth machine. Thank you, sir. Get your stuff packed. I'll be back. Yes, sir. Hey, trucker. Let's see what you got. What does it say? It's a classic move. They're always out to help everyone but themselves. I guess they're headed to Houston before going to Dallas. Should we tell Bennett? The note said not to trust anyone. Why didn't they talk to Bennett? And why is he out here chasing her? None of this makes sense. And this will buy us time to figure it out. Plus, I want to see my grandma again. Why are you telling me if she told you not to trust anyone? Because you're too stupid to do anything about it, dork. <laughs> Besides... We'll get some downtime in Dallas. Sounds good to me, bro. There's a bus headed for Dallas, leaving in 10 minutes. Make sure your butts are on it. Yes, yes sir.
Jeez, aren't you the belle of the ball? What? They wanted to hear my story, and we had to pass the time. Uh, you certainly didn't hold back on the embellishments, did you? Yeah, but did you see their faces? Yeah, I just hope we can still fit you out the door with that big ass head. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god, Vince. The city. That's why we're here, babe. Save as many as we can. The hospital's two miles down this road. We'll walk from here. We'll remove the remaining patients and return to these buses quickly. Holy shit, Erica, this is crazy! Oh my gosh, the city's falling apart! How will we ever get them out in time? Oh, thank God you did. We have one more floor to clear and not enough hands to carry stretchers. Bill, where to begin? on the door when no patients are left. Everyone got it? Yes, sir. Just leave me. Save the others. Sorry, sir. We were told to get you out, and that's what we'll do. Hello, this is L. Douglas Hogan, voice of T.J. Swinson. You can follow me at Amazon or go to Facebook.com slash Honor Your Oath. I look forward to seeing you there. A nine-year-old boy took out two black shirts? Yes, sir, I believe so. How in the hell can that happen? He had a dog, sir. The dog was dead. So you brought home nothing? They were already gone, sir. They knew we were coming. We can't enter the South. Not with all of the militia forces there. But Henderson was right. They're going to strike soon. Maybe Dallas. Maybe the Western Wall. There's no doubt Eric will be with those forces. And Dix's main force will be gone. So we wait? We set up traps, then we wait. No, we train. If a nine-year-old boy can take out even one of the black shirts, there's a lot of work to be done. Well, I'm headed home to get some dinner and dessert. <laughs> I want plans in the morning. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night. The mouth still tastes like medicine. My brain is fried. I got a hole in it the size of the sun. Okay.
Your dinner is almost ready. Where's Teresa? She's at home. She's been too weak to cook. Hi, TJ. You look like you're feeling better. Yes, sir, I am. Go to your room. Yes, sir. I thought I heard you out there. No one told me you were coming home. Good. You probably need the rest. I feel like an old lady lying around all the time. Did Jenny make you spaghetti? It smelled like it. You promise me you'll be good to that girl after I'm gone. She's a good girl, TJ. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> my days are numbered. I'm going to meet my God and see my family. It's okay. What about your family here? What about your family here? I don't have any family here. Yes, you do, TJ. Did you accomplish your mission? No, and the Supreme General is not happy. The Supreme General? Colonel Henderson was promoted to Supreme General over the Federal Republic of America. Then the dream is gone. That's all it ever was, Teresa. A dream. People need to be ruled, or chaos breaks out. You can love, TJ. I can't risk myself for love. Then what are you living for? Power. I'm a god to those people, Teresa. I didn't come here to argue. I came here to see how you were. I'm fine. Go get some food in your belly and rest. Yes, ma'am. If we're going to get safely back to the buses, we need a plan. What's the plan, ma'am? Let's get everyone who can move under their own capacity in a group over towards the left, and get them moving out towards the buses with two volunteers. Anyone who needs to be carried, let's put over in the corner on the right. The, the name's Kyle. Nice to meet you, Kyle. Want to give me a hand here? Yeah, sure. I can't believe it. I'm helping Erica Moore move a stretcher. What? I can't believe I'm helping Erica Moore move a stretcher. It's real great. Oh, sorry. I'm flesh and blood. Same as you, Kyle. Ma'am, we have all the folks who can move themselves assembled. Bobby and I are going to walk with them. Does that work for you, Miss Moore? Sounds good. See you guys in a bit. Miss Moore, I was talking with Darlene, and she says there's no way we can take all these people. I know. Where is he? Then what are we going to do? We'll take half now, and come back for the other half. We'll tuck them up against those walls, and shield them. It's all we can do. Yes, ma'am. just to move it. Uh, Kyle, get a stretcher. Uh, Erica, Kyle and I'll double time it back to the buses and meet you there. I don't know how long Juan can hold on. I love you. Be careful. Come on, guys. Take it slow and use your shield. Watch out. Is everyone okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Let's keep going. The trucks are over there.
Sir, Hall is here to see you. Send him in. How have you been, my brother? There isn't a day that passes that I don't think about sticking a gun in my mouth. That's not what Ginger would want. So, here I am. The fight wouldn't let me go. It wouldn't let any of us go. You were right to distance yourself from Cassidy. No, I've just been lucky I haven't lost her to the fight. <laughs> Amen, brother. So where's Erica? We don't know. She learned how to remove the trackers and left. Her son-in-law's band had a pass south. Bennett was following her in that direction. I knew you were lying to me. What the hell, Cassidy? You knew where she was all along. I don't know where she is, Cassidy. Was she headed south? That means she's in the free zone. Come on, Hall. I can't go with you on this mission, Cassidy. What? She killed my father. It was an accident. One I wish to God wouldn't have happened, but it did. She didn't shoot him in cold blood. She didn't come hunting him down. She protected a man by eliminating the clear and present danger. Tell me you wouldn't have done the same. My father was a good man. No one is arguing that point. You don't have anything to say, babyface? You know how I feel about it. Yeah, you've made that clear. Fine, stay here. I'll go by myself. There you are. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks. They're loading up to leave. What about the people we left behind? Who's in charge here? Ted Ferguson is Juan's boss, and he runs the southern region. Where is he? Excuse me, miss. Where is Ted Ferguson? Can I help you? You can. You can come back with me into the city to get those people we had to leave behind at the hospital. Hold on just a second. Oh, the storm's too close, darling. We can't risk able-bodied people for them. Look what happened to Juan already. We can't just leave them there. I'll do it. If I can get the 20 volunteers I need, will you leave a bus for us? Darling, if you can get the volunteers, I'll leave you the bus. What the hell? It's still a free state, isn't it? Calling on the invitation To the one-leg defiant nation Hold on a second! We can't leave now! We can't leave those people behind! We've all left people behind before, and each time it breaks your heart more and more. We're free people, free to determine our own paths, free to choose to do the right thing or the wrong thing. And the right thing is to go save those people. I'm in. I'm in. Hi, this is Sarah F. Hathaway, the creator of the Changing Earth series and the voice of Erica Moore. Visit ChangingEarthSeries.com to explore the novels behind the drama and the survival knowledge behind the stories. Join the Changing Earth membership program and get one week early access to the show. We appreciate you helping the Changing Earth world go round. Visit us at www.ChangingEarthSeries.com. That's www.changingearthseries.com. Carl, I wasn't expecting to see you here tonight. The Supreme General told me that you didn't find Erica. He wanted me to help coordinate with your efforts. <laughs> he doesn't think I can get the job done. He wants you to have access to whatever resources you need. Come on in. Let's get a drink. Hi, 
TJ. Perfect timing. Dinner is... What? Uh, I didn't know Commander Grey was coming. Now you do. Get us a bottle. Yes, TJ. Jeannie, don't worry about it. I already ate. Are you sure, Carl? I'm sure she can accommodate you. No, I'm good. But I'll take that drink. I can do that. Do you want to eat now, TJ? No, I want you to quit interrupting. I'll eat it when Carl leaves. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll keep it warm. Fine, go. S sorry, TJ. Girl, you're about to be sorry. You really think she's in Texas? Where else? Bennett was looking for her. He went south. I thought Burgess and Bennett were guarding her. Looks like she didn't like the program. Interesting. A wild woman. I'm sure she could be tamed, just like the others. Where do you think she's headed? One of two places, the Western Wall or Dallas. How do you know? She's loyal to a fault. She'll be going after her mother, or she'll be going after her friends in Vegas. Why not just join the Texas militia and start the fight? She can do both with their help. I don't know the commanders out at the wall, but I do know the major in charge of perimeter security down in Dallas, Major Jarvis. I can get word to her. Tell them to detain any of her crew. Pawns always make the game more fun to play. They're all on the detention list now anyway. If you can get them in custody, I'll personally make sure they'll end up in my cells. Plus, I'll send out some black shirts out west to see what we can come up with. Sounds like a plan. I've got to get back to the capital. Let me know what you get. Will do. Here's your dinner, TJ. Still warm. Good job, Jeannie. Your light is shining bright on me. Got no reason to be afraid. You're glowing in the dark. You're glowing in the dark. Glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark. Glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the dark. to stop for gas, sir? Um, of course. <laughs> Welcome, Master Sergeant, sir. At ease, Private. Fill her up. Did a bus headed for Dallas already come through here? Yes. First Private Class Moore and Corporal McClintock got off the bus couple of great guys. Where did they go? Well, they boarded with private citizens. They said their mission was critical and the bus was too slow. Oh, jeez. Let's go, boys. Me, Master Sergeant. Is there a problem, ma'am? Follow the order, Master Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. I'm Major Renee Jarvis. I'm Master Sergeant Patrick Bennett, ma'am. Yes, I know who you are. Still hunting the refugee scum? So sorry, ma'am. What are you referring to? Erica and Vince Moore. You're still hunting them, aren't you? There's no need for secrecy. The federal forces have been alerted to her treachery. We are all in this together. You mercs are an audacious bunch, thinking you could pull off their recapture without the aid of the federal forces. But don't worry, you will have the assistance of all the forces in Dallas. If she makes it that far, which I doubt. That will certainly make my job much easier. Thank you, ma'am. Your job will be really easy because there's no way she will get into my city. I have a lockdown tighter than Fort Knox. 
I bet you're right, ma'am. Just in case, I would like to set a trap where Nancy Fisher used to be employed. You know she's not in the city any longer. Of course, but Erica doesn't, and she'll be headed there. I'll have a squad meet you at the textile factory. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Good luck. What was that about? She wanted to lend a hand catching Erica. Then the feds know. What are we going to do, sir? Find Dexter and Johnny. Where is my grandma, Bennett? Don't forget, I'm your superior officer. Where is my fucking grandmother? Dexter, you better stow that attitude right now. You will address me properly, son. Where is she, sir? She's in Las Vegas. Matthew Tweed had her recalled. You knew? You knew all the time she wasn't here? Yes, Dex. I knew. I was afraid you would tell your mom and dad if you would make contact. Fuck! What are the feds doing here? Don't worry. They're here to help us set a trap. For my mom and dad? They'll fucking kill them, Bennett! We made good time. Yeah, we did. Uh, uh, uh. Erica, look out! Don't move another step! I'll kill her! Just slow down. The end is near. God is coming for all of us! What have you done? You killed them all! We told you we would come back! And no one comes back! God told me! No one comes back! God told me to take you all with me! We came back! Here we are! God's not talking to you, fear it! I... Come on, Erica, we gotta go! We can move it! We have to go! Please help them. You know they're dead, Kyle. Come on. How many did we lose? Half of the volunteers. Sir. Star is here. Perfect. Send her in. Hello, Cole. Star, glad you made it. Where's Sean? He didn't want to come. But you guys... He found another landowner so he could stay with the band. Oh, Star, I'm so sorry. You didn't call me back here to hear about my sob story. What's going on? Your parents left with you, right? Yeah. Well, their absence was very difficult to explain. The Supreme General classes the Merc forces as traitors. They attacked us, Star. Is my brother okay? He's fine. I got him and your grandparents out. Thank God. Where are my parents now? Why don't you tell me, Star? Bennett hasn't been able to find them. They were going to meet with Governor Dixon, and then they were going to meet me in Dallas to get my grandma. Tweed took her back to Vegas. What? Does my mom know? I don't know. Right now, I have to figure out a counteroffensive. Star! Hi, Daniel. I'm so glad you're here. No one will tell me where Mom and Dad and Dexter are. Where is Dexter? I sent him down to help Bennett. We're going to war. Do Bennett and Dexter know? I don't know, Star. I think they're in Dallas, but I haven't been able to make contact with the Merc base there. This is just great, Cole. Don't sit there all smug, Star. Your actions set all this in motion, so don't sit there pointing your finger at me like you're all high and mighty. And don't sit there pointing your finger at me, Cole. You know why they left. You caused this. Stop it! None of this is going to help! You're right, Danny. I guess the Major's too busy to deal with us. Cole saved us, Star. If he could help, he would. I'm sorry. I'm just frustrated. We all are. Changes to come Cause the light's just around the corner Life must go on
If you want to learn how to survive a nuclear, biological, or chemical warfare attack using nothing more than what you have in your own home right now, don't click off this ad. Hey everyone, this is Dave Jones, the NBC Guy, and I've prepared a special class. Contact me at NBCGuy.com to learn more, or send me an email at NBCGuy at ProtonMail.com. You know, baby, it's not your fault. I know. You did what you thought was right. I know, Vince. I know. I wanted to save those people so badly. But all those people died. What happened? One of the patients went crazy. I didn't even think he could get out of bed, but he did. He killed them all and one of the volunteers. Erica, Vince, your room is ready. Please come this way. you are, you bitch. I'm sorry, do I know you? Maybe you don't recognize me without my father's brains blown up all over my face. You were in the cell. You killed my father, you bitch. Do you remember me now? Yes, and I can't tell you how sorry I am. Your words are hollow to me. I want your life. I wish I could explain, but there's no excuse. That day, either your father or the soldier I was with was going to die. I made the choice for the soldier's life over that of your father's. And the kid was a complete ass that probably didn't even deserve it. I owe you a great debt. And if there's any way I can repay you- You can repay me with your life. A fight in the ring to the death. I don't want to fight you. Melvin. Under the law of the Republic of Texas, a family member does have the right to challenge the guilty party to a death match. Did you kill her father, Erica? I just said I did, but you don't understand. I was doing what I had to. It doesn't matter. You did the crime. She has the right to challenge you. I'm sorry, Erica. What if she doesn't fight? You're banished from Texas and can never return. Trust me, I tried to talk Cassidy out of this. We're going to lose a quality leader, no matter who wins. Cassidy took her father's place as the Western Region Resistance Commander after he was killed. Enough, Melvin. This bitch isn't worth the explanation. Cassidy, I don't want to fight you. Don't do that. Don't use my name, bitch. Your life is mine. No, it's not. And she's not fighting you. We'll be gone in the morning. Today, tomorrow, next week, we will settle this. Can you believe that chick? Maybe I should fight her, Vince. What in God's green earth would give you that idea? We need these people. Why, Erica? Are they going to help get us to Vegas? Maybe. This mission is to get your mom and our friends in Vegas and then get home to Daniel, right? Right. But what about the revolution and all the people we could help? You can't save them all, baby. And we can't do anything if you die in the ring over a choice you had to make. You can't save them all. You're right, Vince. I can't save them all. I got my mind all full of their talk. I'm not some hero. I'm just me. And I can't save the world. Ah, but you'll always be my hero. You know what I need? What's that? A hug from Daniel. I miss him, Dax and Star, so bad. Me too. Let's just get this done and go home.
Bennett. Don't do it, Bennett. You're outmanned, outgunned, and outstrategized. Get on your knees. Imagine my luck. Do you know who we have here? This is Master Sergeant Patrick Bennett of the Mercenary Army, Federal Forces Trader and friend to the number one Federal Fugitives, Vincent Erica Moore. And these two slippery bastards who somehow slimed their way through our gate are a sight to behold. This is Private First Class Dexter Moore, son of the Federal Fugitives, Vincent Erica Moore. But this man is the catch of the day. This man is Corporal Johnny McClintock, son of General McClintock of that mercenary army, arrested for grand treason against the Federal Republic of America, the same General McClintock who sits in his cell in Kansas City awaiting his execution. You fucking bastards. <clears throat> Don't worry, Mr. McClintock. You won't be held guilty for the sins of your father, but you will spend the rest of your life as a refugee. Let him up, boys. Days are here again. Shut up. Everyone okay? I'm good. Yeah, we're good. Shaver is dead. We have to get the hell out of here. Everyone in the Jeep. Good thinking, Dex. Thank God for that dog of yours, son. Whatever, sir. Thanks for listening to the Changing Earth audio drama. This content is copywritten in 2023 by author Sarah F. Hathaway. Special thanks to featured musician Five Times August. Find his latest hits at fivetimesaugust.com. Get to know our amazing performers and listen to the soundtrack at changingearthseries.com. Special thanks to Zapsplat, freesound.com, and freemusicarchives.com. Find all the music and sound attributes at author Sarah F. Hathaway.com backslash soundtrack. Stay tuned for more of the Changing Earth Adventure.